Our Lost Art series continues now in a world of high demand and mass production. Making things by hand has become a rarity. But a longtime San Antonio boot company has never crumbled to the pressure of the times. Case I told Courtney Friedman takes us to Little's Boot Company, where very old techniques are alive and well. Doing something this intricate, this personal, and this well takes years to perfect. And at Little's Boot Company, they've had 100 years of practice. It started with my great grandfather, Lucian Little, back in 1915. Fourth generation owner Dwayne Little says they still do everything by hand. In the state of Texas, there's not very many boot makers. There are maybe a one man shop that makes their own boots. Uh, we're blessed to have the people that we have, seven or eight people. The dying art, as he calls it, starts when the client customizes the entire boot. Measurements are taken and the customer is put on the eight month waiting list. Ruben is going on 50 years at Little's, and every boot starts with him. He hand draws each design and cuts the materials. He's going to start assembling the boot. The complex designs are cut out, inlaid, and stitched individually. Then every boot piece is carefully stitched together with 80 year old manual sewing machines. We'll do a side seam on each side, which is called the piping, and then we'll hand turn the boot. So it'll be turned so the seams will all be inside. Then it's time for the inner and outer soles. And there is nothing automated about this process. This is the biggest machine they use, and it's more than 100 years old. First, they clamp the piece of leather in here, and then you spin this wheel to start the needle moving. And this pedal controls the speed. Each boot takes a minimum of 35 hours to make. Some take up to 100 hours. But to little, that, it's but all worth it. Yeah, some people get real emotional. It's rewarding to see the boot finished in their excitement. This art is rare, but after 100 years, those who create it know they can keep it alive. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News. Now, Dwayne Little talked a lot about how making boots by hand makes a big difference. For more on how handmade boots are different than mass produced boots, you can head over to our Facebook page.